What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another Apparition Net Studio video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys uh, all the changes that we've added to Apparition Net Studio version 1.2.2. It's a pretty significant update, um, although I'm not going to go over stuff I've gone over in the previous video which was all about all client stats. So I've already done a video on Modern Warfare 3 all client stats and uh, also showing that there's all client stats in Advanced Warfare and Ghosts as well. Um, but I'm not going to re-go over that stuff, I'm just going to go over all the other stuff that I didn't cover in that video. So, the first new thing that we've added in this update uh, is in Black Ops 2, and that is the Stat Profile Spoofer, which allows you to basically um, set somebody else's stats without having to download their profile, which is really useful. You just type in the gamertag of the person, and it will spoof their stats onto your profile so that when you edit your stats, you're actually you're actually editing their stats and therefore um, you know you can set people's stats and you know do recoveries without having to download their profiles which is really useful so let's just go ahead and do this um, as you can see I'm level one zero prestige I've reset my stats and if I want to go ahead and set something like phase apex I can go ahead and generate and then click the spoof button and when I click the spoof button it will kick me out of the game uh, back to the main menu and it will give me a little notification to say that the stats have been spoofed to phase apex and now when I go on to Xbox Live my stats will be spoofed to his stats essentially so it might take a little while there we go and then I can look at my uh, whoops I look at my create classes so I've already been here and set them all to apparition net um, but of course we could change that we can change his prestige down to say prestige 1 um, or on 7000 XP. Now this won't stick unless I probably go into a game. Um, of course you can do legit stats as well which is something new that we've added. But yeah, you can set his stats. If I went into an online game, got a kill, that would stick and then the next time he signs on to his account he will be first prestige level 15 and even if I set the class names as well then um, that actually sticks on his account which I'm pretty sure it's already stuck on his account, so they're all set to AppNet now. But yeah, you can basically do that. Um, also, if you close the spoofer, you need to keep the spoofer open because if you close it, you'll get kicked out and you'll get an error. Um, sometimes, if even if you don't close it, you'll be kicked out, but you can just go back, uh, hit Xbox Live again, and you'll still be spoofed as his stats. But because I closed the spoofer there, um, it's kicked me out, and that has finished so I should be back on my normal account when I go on Xbox Live now. So yeah, back to normal. So that is the um, stat profile spoofer. Really useful for quick for doing recoveries for people without having to download their accounts. So in other things we've changed as I showed you there we've now got a legit stats option. Uh, so again you can still use stat files loading and saving stat files but there's also this legit stats option. And what it does is it kind of randomizes the stats around the prestige that you enter. So because I've entered first prestige, we're only looking at a kill streak of four, um, or if I click legit stats, a kill streak of seven, um, 44 losses and 98 wins. But if I go up to say 10th prestige and then click legit stats, you can see we get much higher values. So 960 wins and 410 losses go up to 15th prestige, legit stats. Now we have 1,380 wins and um, 630 losses. So it kind of randomizes your stats around that, which is pretty cool. Now, another thing that we've added is quick recovery. So this is designed to just, you know, basically give you uh, really, really fast access to do a recovery for someone. So if you have to download their profile, obviously you can just use the stat spoofer on Black Ops 2, but with the other games, uh, you've got quick recovery so that if we went into if we if, we, if you were doing this for somebody like you know you you do this for lots of people uh, you know you you do recoveries for people then rather than having to enter all of these and then doing unlock all and then setting their medals and setting all their stats you just click quick recovery once and it'll do everything for you so it does unlock all it sets your stats uh, as you can see it sets medals and class names and all of that stuff as well so now it's set my stats and if I go to create a class it sets all of the class names to your gamer tag with different colors which is pretty nice and of course it's set my medals and stuff as well if we go into barracks 
and we look at uh, where are we career we go to medals we can see it set all the medals so it does all of that and uh, yeah just in one click of a button basically so the other thing I want to show you guys is on Black Ops 1 so we'll go ahead and launch Black Ops 1 from within the quick launcher and open up the tool Black Ops 1 takes a little while for the controller to actually respond so I can actually click Xbox Live. Oh, there we go. So we'll head into recovery stats. And again, we've got the same thing on here as well. So let's see, I might already be ranked up. Yeah, I'm already ranked up here. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and click reset stats as well. Reset my stats on this game and show you guys the quick recovery option. So again, quick recovery on Black Ops 1, if we do that, it will set all your stats, it will also do unlock all, and it will also do god mode, overkill classes, and set your class names as well. So as you can see, just with one click of a button, we've got our stats set, we've got unlock all, if I go to create classes, it's set all of my class names, it's also added overkill classes, as you can see I've got an RPK and HK21 as my uh, pr like primary secondary grenades. Um, as well as these ones and some of them are god mode classes as well so, so so two of them are just overkill classes and the other three have god mode as well as the overkill and so that sets all that for you and that's all you have to do just one button you click it it sets everything for you so that you can do a recovery really really fast which is really convenient for you know people who do recoveries on a daily basis um, so yeah as for the overkill classes uh, we have actually added an option in here that allows you to change your primary weapon and the reason you might want to do that is that we can set our primary weapon say we set it to the commando and then we can set a gold camo on the commando and then what I can do is I can just go to that class set my primary weapon to like a secondary weapon like the crossbow and set primary weapon as the crossbow and now I will have a gold crossbow when I go into the game let's switch into a private match and I'll show you guys that I now have a gold crossbow. So normally you wouldn't be able to set a camo on a secondary weapon because the crossbow is a secondary, secondary weapon so you can't actually apply a camo to it. But if you use overkill classes and set your primary weapon to a uh, crossbow then you can set a gold camo on it and then you end up with a gold crossbow as you can see right here. So that's another thing we've added, the ability to change primary weapons in the in the overkill classes. You have to basically just select a normal weapon. If you want a gold crossbow, you have to set a normal weapon um, as your primary weapon, then apply the gold camo to it, then change the weapon in the tool to a crossbow and it will have gold camo on it. And as you can see, it's set it to overkill classes. I've got an RPK as well, and I've also got my HK21 and a commando so I've got four weapons equipped and that is the overkill classes right there uh, so yeah that is basically that uh, any more any new things we've changed other than quick recovery legit stats um, as you saw there we've also got an option to set all class names when you're setting your custom class names so it does them all even a rainbow option to get different colored uh, letters on the class names as well and other than that uh, there's two other things I want to show you guys that have been added to this new update. Two quick things, two quick things. Um, I actually have to sign into a different account to show you one of these. Okay, so I'm signing into a different account to show you guys the achievement unlocker. So this is a universal achievement unlocker. It's very experimental, meaning that some games it can cause crashes on. Uh, but even if it does crash your game, it will still set most of the achievements on that game. Um, which is pretty nice and most most of the games it doesn't crash on it's just a certain there's a certain few games that it, that doesn't like it but if we go to our achievements here um, let's go ahead and launch let's do COD 4 because there's not too many achievements on COD 4 so that should shouldn't take too long to unlock them um, so it's universal so that will work with any game that has achievements for it it's not you know preset to only work with certain games so we're on COD 4 now, so hopefully COD 4 will now show up in the achievements list. Yep, there it is. So I've got zero out of 37 achievements for COD 4. 
then all I have to do is click the achievement unlocker, click the button to unlock all achievements for this game. And there we go, 37 for 1000G. So it's still going, there we go, all achievements unlocked. So now I can just go to achievements and boom, 37 out of 37, all achievements unlocked for the game. Simple as that, one click of a button. Um, sometimes on games that are large, like Black Ops 1, um, you set your achievements, it might only do say 60 out of 71 and then you just have to press the button again to do the other, the remainder and then it'll, it'll do them all. So, you know, with games that have loads of achievements like these two, 90 achievements, you might have to do it twice to unlock them all. Um, but again, it's pretty cool that it just unlocks the achievements for any game that has achievements available. So yeah, that's pretty much it, apart from one last thing, which is XB Remote. And this basically allows you to remote control your console from the tool. As you can see there, I'm scrolling through the different dashboard items using this virtual controller on the tool. I can also use the D-pad. All the buttons work, apart from, okay, we don't have the sticks functioning at the moment, but we will be adding that. So you may think this is a bit of a gimmick and there's not much use for this, but we are going to be adding some scripts and stuff to this that are going to make it much more useful. Um, so keep an eye on that for in future updates. But yeah, that's basically the changes that we've made into Apparition Net Studio uh, version 1.2.2. Bear in mind there's also Modern Warfare 3 all client stats, Advanced Warfare and Ghosts all client stats, as well as everything I've mentioned in this video. And there should be a um, video you can click on on screen right now that will take you to the video on the all client stats if you haven't already seen them but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already comment if you have any questions and if you like to buy this tool apparition net studio there is a purchase link in the description of this video along with a link to the website so you can get more information on it so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one